This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hi, and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony, and this is a quick fill-in uh, review show because I couldn't make two days ago. I was in Germany, drank too much uh, beer, ate too much food, and came down with a horrible cold. Could not do the review show whatsoever, so I'm still recovering from it right now, as you can probably hear. However, I'm going to bring you a very quick review along with a giveaway. So, this week we have Frostbite Playing Cards. Uh, these are by Cardistry Hipster, and they retail at quite an expensive £13.99. That's probably not the best sales pitch by saying quite expensive £13.99, but let's be honest, it is. Um, let's cut to a very quick parts of the trailer now. If you're on YouTube but of course we're not on YouTube right now we're on Facebook so what I'm gonna do is very quickly open these bad boys up show you them let you make your decisions as to whether you like them or not if you want to see the trailer to these then go onto the YouTube channel you'll see some nice close-ups of these cards just there but stay till the end because we will be giving a giveaway of these cards as well now today, because it's a quick one, we're not going to be replying to messages on the Facebook Live, I'm afraid, sorry. Nice quick review show, but ooh, first thing I've noticed, now, these cards were not made by Bicycle. Um, they weren't made by any company that I'd actually heard of before, like uh, Expert Playing Card Company or any of those guys. It just says, printed in Taiwan by Hansen Shen Production Co. Um, and produced, hello! Produced by the Cardistry Hipster, designed by Sam Wheeler and Matthew Noel. So, what I will first say is the box feels really nice. First of all, this part right here, uh, it has a sort of UV lamination. So it feels laminated there, just the icebergs. But the rest of it is a very silky feel, very minimalist. Uh, first thing I thought of, Memento Mori's. You know, they looked a bit of a rip-off of those from the Outlook when I first got them. So let's see how close they actually are to those. Um, but it certainly looks like that, you know, it's got a bit of that going on in it. Okay, you open it up, Frostbite playing cards along the top here. That's quite nice. Let's take them out. Anything on the inside? Nothing printed on the inside here. So let's move on to the actual cards themselves. Let's see how they fan. Da da da! Okay, they look and handle in that respect quite nice. Uh, let's do them this way. Yep. Quite nice there as well. Let's see how they they seem to feel a little bit thicker than some cards, a little bit more like bicycle playing cards, in fact, in, in just that, that first initial spring, but not too thick in any means at all. Uh, let's try giving them a... Okay, that was quite nice for one straight away. Yep. So these feel pretty, pretty good. Uh, they feel like they've had a, a bit of like a fanning powder on. They feel a little bit softer than maybe a normal deck, but they, they feel nice, they're fanning nice. I'm not sure how long they're going to last for, uh, but so far they feel really, really good, and I'm impressed. And that's what I love now, is that the playing cards seeming to be almost catching up with uh, Bicycle in USPCC. They're, they're getting better and better all the time. First of all, the borders are in perfect alignment on this card anyway. I'll check the rest. So it looks to be very well printed. The colours are quite nice too. Again, similar to Memento Mori's, but there's the Ace of Hearts. Let's go through some of the cards now. Two of Hearts, Three of Hearts. So they're all quite, uh, quite unusual. You have to get used to the hearts being blue, I'm afraid. It is the ice cold season, and all of the cards have gone blue, even the black cards. So you are simply blue. We have a Jack of Hearts there. We have a Queen of Hearts. We have a King of Hearts, 
Uh, maybe if you were playing cards in a game, you might want them to be a little bit clearer than this. So for cardistry, maybe fantastic, but for playing cards, I'm not 100% sure. Ace of Clubs, and so on. So let's just go through these uh, nice and simple. Yep, Queen of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, there's some diamonds. And finally, let's see what extra cards we get with it. Okay, so we get Create Dot. So one extra card in Create Dot. Uh, that's it. So unusual for a magic gimmick. And Creations 2017. Boom. So no gimmick cards for you to actually use as a magician, which is a bit of a letdown in some respects. However, let's be honest, whoever buys these cards are not really buying them to do magic tricks. They're buying them more to do the flourishes and the cool sort of stuff. Um, the kind of stuff that, to be frankly, I cannot do very well. I can do a few, maybe four or five different cool moves and that sort. And of course, the, the usual standard one that every magician does. So... For me, they feel nice. I can't really say anything bad about them. I wouldn't say they'd be my choice to go out there. I'm not going to start giving up my Aquatica cards or uh, Bicycle cards for these. But they do feel nice. They feel smooth. The edges are very sharp. And all in all, I think when you do cardistry, they will look, without question, very, very nice. So, 13.99 for these cards. I'll give them a rating out of 10. I'll give them a... I'm going to give them, a, quite simply... A 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I don't think they're bad, and I don't think I would go out my way to get them, unless I'm a cardistry geek, should I say. So there we go. Um, I'm going to give away this very pack of cards. That is the competition. I'm going to give these away to somebody, and all you have to do is three little things. If you're watching this on Facebook, you have to click like. If you're not on Facebook, don't worry. Just click like, though, to our channel, and of course to this post. Uh, our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Magic World UK. Then go to uh, share it with somebody, just share it with anybody, I don't mind, anyone, your family, whoever, share it with your best friend, whoever you want, share it with your girlfriend, she might not want it, but you know, just share it anyway. Uh, and then also go onto our YouTube channel and click subscribe, that's what it's all about. YouTube.com forward slash Magic World UK, click subscribe. We're going to randomly select a number from everyone who's uh, liked on Facebook. Uh, make sure you leave a comment saying that you've done it as well. Uh, same on YouTube, leave a comment and I will add up all of the things and at the end, somebody will win. This deck of cards will be posted out next week. Uh, Christina, say hello on the Facebook Live. Okay, she's saying no. Uh, <laughs> that is the end of this week's review show. Thank you for watching and we will be back next Tuesday at two with a full proper review show as per usual. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh, with a Richard Sounds coffee cup. That's not good. We will get our own Magic World Cup soon, I promise. Oh, we have a DHL guy here with a parcel. Two seconds. Hello, how are you? Not too bad. Oh, perfect time. Just about to start, but not Hello. quite. But you're live on Facebook. Oh. Hiya. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, hey. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>